A geometric series is what happens when we sum a geometric sequence. Okay? A sequence is a series of numbers. The sum is those all added up together. And to find the sum of a geometric series, we have a number of different equations at our disposal. Okay? So what we have is for a finite series, okay, there's a series with a set number of terms, we have these two equations at the top of the board. Oops, and I have misread them, written them. This should be a a sub 1. Sorry about that. So what we have is the first term times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. This is the exact same thing as a sub 1 r to the n minus 1 over r to the 1. Okay? These are opposite statements. If you switch one of these, you switch the other, negative ones cancel. So either one of these is perfectly fine. Okay? Your book may have one, just go with whatever your book has or your teacher tells you. Okay? In general, I will use this equation, okay? the first one. And the reason I do that is because this is the formula for a finite series. We also have another formula for an infinite series, and basically that's one that never ends. Okay. And the reason I chose this is because the denominator is going to be the same for both of these and not having to remember when to switch your denominator makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, So I'm going to use these two. If you want to use these two, that's perfectly fine as well. But basically what we have, so we have these two for finite and one for infinite. One way you can tell the difference is for the finite one, you're summing a sub n. Okay, You're summing the first n terms, whatever that may be. For the infinite series, we don't have an n. So that's telling us we don't have a specified term number, which means we're summing everything. Okay? There is one restriction, though, that we have to have when we are summing a infinite series. And that is that our absolute value of our rate has to be less than 1. Okay? And what that means is that our terms have to be getting smaller. Okay? Now I'm talking about positive and negative because they can switch back and forth. But basically, the numeric part of our numbers have to be getting smaller. And how that actually works is I've written out this sequence right here, 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth. And basically what we're doing is dividing by 2 every time or multiplying by 1 half because we always have to multiply when finding our geometric sequences in series. And what happens if we added up all these terms together, eventually the terms down here are so small they're not going to do anything. So our next term would be 1 16th, 1 32nd, 1 64th, so on and so forth. Eventually those numbers, when we're dealing with whole numbers aren't going to make a difference. Okay? We add one one thousandths to a number we already have, it's not going to make a difference. So that's how this infinite series equation works. Okay? It's just counting on these numbers to eventually be so small, they're not going to affect our sum. Okay? So two, really three different equations for summing a geometric sequence, a geometric series. Pick two of, or sorry, pick one of these two, and then you have to remember this one as well. We have our finite and our infinite.